In this video we're going to show you how to set up your iTrack device to work in live tracking mode on the iTrack Live GPS tracking platform. This is done via a series of text messages sent from your mobile phone to the tracker. The first message we need to send is the word begin followed by the password. Here we'll use the default password which is 123456. We send this to the tracker, just wait for a response. The tracker will reply begin OK. At this point we can set the IP address. So here we type the, the command admin IP followed by the password and a space and then the IP address of iTrack Live which is 213.136.81.111 and then a space and then the port number which is 10200. Send this and wait for a response. Now it's very important that the messages are entered exactly as you see them in this example. Once we've got the response, we can now set the APN code. The APN we'll use in this example is going to be 02, as that's the um, SIM card that we supply with the trackers. But if you're using a different SIM card in the tracker, make sure you've got the right APN. So we'll go ahead and type the command APN 123456, then a space, and then pay and go dot o2.co.uk send that command to the tracker and wait for a response and once we've got the response we can now turn on GPRS mode and to do this we simply send the command GPRS followed by the password the tracker will then respond GPRS OK And now we need to set interval tracking to tell the tracker to upload its position at a predetermined time interval. So in this example we're going to use 30 seconds. So we'll send the command fix 030s star 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 n and then the password 123456. Send that. Now we won't get a response from this command. The tracker will just now start to update its position to the server every 30 seconds for an indefinite number of times. So now if you log on to the iTrack Live platform, you'll see that your tracking device should be online. Hope you found this video useful. Have a great day.